Kim Kardashian, or Kim Kardashian West as we now know her, is not a celebrity who plays small. She's a social media personality, reality TV star, businesswoman, model, and more, with 147 million followers on Instagram at the time of this video. I would say it's a no-brainer that Kim is one of the most well-known influencers of our time and has quite the influential family as well. The Kardashian-Jenner clan has been famous for years now and a lot of that started off with Kim. These days, Kim also has her own family of moguls with her hubby Kanye West and their four children, North, Saint, Som, and Chicago. Just hearing the names of their kids and if you know anything about Kim and Kanye, you can also bet that their home is posh and eccentric like them. Some have even called it bizarre. So your home is clearly stunning. Thank you. How would you describe this home? I would say like a minimal monastery. Wow. And where did the inspiration come from? From Axel Vavort and Kanye. The two used to live in Bel Air but sold that house, which we will take a look at as well. These days they have a $22 million mansion in the Hidden Hills, which is where pretty much all the Kardashian clan buys their real estate. Neighbors. Kim has an estimated net worth of 350 mil and combine that with Kanye's, I'm sure you're close to a billion. That type of money can definitely build any type of palace or home that you dream of, and then some. So of course Kim lives in a spot that is nothing short of royalty. Originally Kim and Kanye were planning to keep their house a little more under wraps and private, but that changed and they've since shared some interesting features of their house on social media, as well as done some interviews there. We'll see what Kim's mansion is really like and if it's as strange as people say. Hey guys, it's Kara and we've been trying something a little different here on this channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Kim K's mansion in the Hidden Hills that her and Kanye thought up and give the details of her house tour. Of course, Kim's home is interesting and one of a kind to say the least. If you like this idea, I'll make more house tour vids. We also did one on Kylie Jenner's perfect home that's also in the Hidden Hills area, as well as Ariana Grande's mansion and NYC penthouse. And we'll have links to those at the end of this video. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Before we get into the minimalistic mansion that Kim lives in these days, we're going to take a look at where her and Kanye used to live. The two used to live in Bel Air, Los Angeles, and obviously real estate here is in the multi-million dollar ballpark. Kim and Kanye bought this mansion for $11 million in 2013, but then stripped it down completely and invested a couple million more in renos. The new look was pretty minimalistic and bare, which sounds about right for Kim and Kanye's tastes. The interior of the home was 9,000 square feet with 5 beds and 7 baths, and sources say that after renovations were through, it looked more like a gallery than a home. Not surprising. There's a catwalk on the second story that joins the large foyer and living room. The living room is pretty open concept as well, with a large two-story glass wall that looks into the yard. The kitchen in this house was mostly stainless steel and had a long island, and also on the main level there's an indoor-outdoor family room. Upstairs, the master bedroom has a rounded area and balcony, which overlooks the backyard. Outside, of course, there's also an infinity pool and two spas, surrounded by picture-perfect green space. Kim said about this house that the interior design was all about natural tones and minimal furniture. We also repositioned the pool and added a glam room with its own separate entrance. However, with their growing family, Kim and Kanye decided to move on from it a while after, selling it for $17.8 million. I also heard that it already was put on the market and sold again, but this time it went down in value. So who knows what happened. Let's move on to the main attraction. Kim's minimalistic and pretty weird family home. Personally, when I think about a family home, even if it's a dream home, I would want it to feel comfy and still slightly cozy. Mansions are always so big, so of course they could feel cold and empty, but Kim and Kanye's spot takes this to a whole new level. Kim and Kanye paid $22.68 million for this home originally, and then spent another $20 million in renovations. I also heard that if you get in the way of Kanye's creative genius, he'll can you on the spot. That's one method to getting the exact home you want, I guess. Apparently the mansion is now worth 60 million post renovations, so seems like all of the hard work paid off. The address of this home is 24895 Long Valley Road in the Hidden Hills, according to Zillow.com, which is a gated community, so no creeping their house. Hidden Hills is beside Calabasas, California. A handful of big name celebs call this area home, and like I mentioned, a lot of the Kardashian-Jenner clan. It only made sense that Kim moved here too. Let's just say you won't find anything for under 10 million in this hood. 
Spending 20 million on renovations, you already know that this house looked way different before the Kardashian Wests got their hands on it. The aerial pics of their reno process looks like they seriously demolished a lot of the property. I actually liked the house before because although it was still a beautiful epic mansion, it had a sense of home and wasn't completely barren. It had a French style and lots of brick and wood accents. There were still high ceilings with wooden beams and the bathrooms were gorgeous as well. My favorite part was probably the large covered patio and the pool with the fountains. I think it's so sad that they demolished that because it was way too pretty. Looking at the before pictures of Kim's mansion at the time the couple bought it, you can really see what $20 million in renovations does. So how does it look now? These days, Kim and Kanye's Hidden Hills Palace has been compared to an abandoned museum and a creepy convent, among other things. But according to Kim, it's like a minimal monastery. Like that's any more normal. Just walking in, you can feel these vibes from the foyer. Kim's mansion is 15,667 square feet with eight bedrooms and 10 bathrooms. There are also eight fireplaces, which I'm not sure why is relevant, but either way, it sounds excessive. So what are these guys most into in life right now, Kim? Um. Sorry, what was the question? What, what are they most into in life right now? Um, Saint is into Paw Patrol. Anything Paw Patrol. North is into Bill Nye, the science guy. I want to meet him. You do? And Shy is into anything food. We can notice right away about Kim's spot that everything is super white and modern. It's also a really open concept with not many doors to be seen anywhere. There's also a room with a piano, which I think is supposed to be the living room, but I really don't know who's living in there. There aren't even any seats into the living room, and what kind of piano is this? This is gorgeous. Unbleached Steinway. And how's the uh, lessons going for you right now? I started and I quit. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, actually there's a small couch, but still not very comfy. Aside from a naked statue, there isn't much occupying this room. The kitchen now has a giant island perfect for food prep, but it used to look very different too, like everything else in Kim's home. I really want to know how the pair manages having infants and all this white furniture. Kim actually told Architectural Digest when they asked this, oh my God, I ran around the house with towels. You just have to take a deep breath and say, Okay, it's gonna happen. We decided to have light colors. Moving on to the bathroom, well, the one that seems to be the focal point, it's definitely interesting. After showing the bathroom in the house tour, some were confused because of the odd layout and design, so Kim explained it further. The master bathroom used to look like a pretty standard, fancy master bath, but now it's completely different. Our whole ceiling is a light box. Bathtub fits all of our kids and our shower. There's a large square tub that Kim says can fit all the kids and some weird sinks. The sinks Kim explained were designed by Kanye, Axel, Vervoort, and Claudio Silvestre. So eight versions of this prototype sink was made and it does actually like slightly slope down that you can kind of see. And there's a slit for the water and it goes in. You can put it on as high pressure as you want and no backsplash will come up. Well, that's the first time I've ever seen a sink like that. Some other weird things in Kim's mansion that she's shown us are the light switches that are just three small buttons for on, off, and dim. She says that the switches not having a box around them, like normal light switches, makes them more visually appealing. In Kim's bedroom, or their master bedroom, they also have a big TV that comes out from the floorboards, which I think is pretty cool. Pretty cool, right, Chloe? Very cool. She wanted me to show you guys this, guys. Oh, my favorite person <laughs> on the screen. It's actually 130 inches, to be exact. The master bedroom's appearance has changed a lot as well since Kim moved in. Another part of Kim's home she's been so generous to show off is her closet. This might even be the most familiar room in the mansion, considering she often posts pics in her outfit fittings going on there. It's perfectly organized with all the most lavish designer gear you could imagine. But what else would you expect? Kanye also has plenty of closet space for himself and all of his Yeezys. Outside the house on 3.5 acres, there were originally two swimming pools, two spas, and their own vineyard. I'm not sure if during the mega renos Kim got rid of the vineyard, but we know that it came as part of the original property. 
Some additions to Kim's property included a basketball court that was for Kanye's birthday, which we could see being created in some of the renovation picks. As of last year, the couple was also installing a large body of water, like a giant swimming pond or mini lake, to replace the two pools that were previously on the property. The backyard was just recently completed as of this year and they had to get building permits because of the size of the pond, which is reportedly 20 by 60 feet. Just when you thought their home couldn't get any crazier. The pools obviously just didn't cut it for Kim. In the recent photos of their property, we can see the finished basketball court, giant pool, and it looks like they still kept the vineyard. In the photo shoot that Kim did for Vogue, it made her look like her mansion was more homely and chaotic than we've seen it. From the footage I saw, Kim's mansion is past minimalistic and there were no toys to be seen on the floor. So don't be fooled, after this vid you should really know what her and Kanye's strangely empty yet massive home is like. What do you guys think about Kim's house? Cool or too cool to live in? I definitely like her sister Kylie's place better. I get more home vibes looking at hers. When two of the biggest celebrities get together and start a family like Kim and Kanye, when it comes to their living arrangements, you should only expect greatness. Even though the Bel Air home the two lived in previously was quite the mansion, their current house in the Hidden Hills exceeds it and then some. I also think that the Kardashian clan is buying up all of the Hidden Hills on purpose and each family member has to get real estate there, or else. From the bare walls to the extremely white and grey based interior of the home, Kim's mansion is ultra modern and I think a little bit eerie. I don't understand where all the stuff is. I mean, the most lived in looking place of the home is Kim's closet and we know that's not the case. I don't want to knock Kanye's interior design though, cause I might hurt his feelings. I don't think that Kim and Kanye could do much else to their mansion to make it any more epic or particular, but it's hard to imagine either of them stopping there. Although Kim's mansion is complete at the moment, we'll see what the future holds for the family home and if any more major renovations are in store. Okay guys, so I'm gonna read out some of your comments from our other vids. On our Kylie Jenner house tour vid, Joy Layton said, I've learned through life you can't give away what you have. She earned her money. I don't think no one makes anybody buy her cosmetics. She made it, all I can say, good for her. That's so true, Joy. I think the influence of her family gave her a good head start, but her cosmetic brand is definitely all Kylie. Can't knock the girl for building an empire. From our recent before and after video on Blair White, Ellie White said, Great video, you got everything right. Thanks Ellie, I had a lot of fun doing Blair's before and after video. She seems super cool, so I'm glad to hear that. Let's hope she agrees. And finally on our Ariana Grande house tour vid, Zeph asked, is that apartment real? What's the name of it? Looks crazy. Yes, Zeph, it is indeed very real. It's called the Zaha Hadid building after the late architecture who designed it. There are only 39 apartments inside the futuristic looking building and they're all three story penthouses. All right guys, that's all I could find on Kim K's home or her and Kanye's minimalistic mansion, I should say. I look forward to reading what you guys think about her spot or if there's anything I might have missed. What do you guys think was the weirdest thing in Kim's house? The sinks, the empty rooms? I think that the living room was the strangest for me. I don't understand what one would do in there. I actually liked the house before they did the $20 million reno. What did you guys like better? Let me know in the comments. Also, let me know some other celebrity houses you'd like to see. I'll see you next week with some new videos. Bye.